your thoughts on uh, you know getting out here as a rookie and uh, what you want to do to impress the coaching staff and your teammates? Yeah, I mean, just just play my game. Uh, just just play the game that you know I've been gifted to play. Um, you know, don't don't overdo anything. You know, I've been blessed to come out here and, and be with the guys and to show the, the teammates and the coaches you know what I can do. Uh, but for me, I just look at it as just getting better every single day. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy, you know. Obviously, you know you want to impress everybody, but you still got rules and, and you still got plays that you got to execute. Um, and for me, I'm just being being a good teammate and going out there. How exciting is it to come your rookie season? Uh, last couple of years, they've spent high quality draft picks on offensive players. You're playing with Kyle Pitts and you're playing with um, you know Drake London and yourself and Desmond Ritter. Your thoughts on just coming to a team that looks like they are focused on making sure the offense has all the pieces it needs? Yeah, I mean it's, it's exciting, man. Uh, and for them to to give me a chance to come out here. And to, to show the abilities that that I've, that I've been given, um, I think it's pretty cool because you know Drake and Kyle, those are obviously two great great players uh, for the team for the NFL. You know they do things the right way at, at their position. So hopefully I can you know learn from them um, in practices and, and even off the field to see how they became you know successful in their in their game so I can become you know successful in mine. Coach Smith said that you uh, this call said you're a home run hitter. <laughs> that comes with certain expectations, right? When you come in, I mean, how, how do you feel about that? Like the, the expectations that you're going to be a home run hitter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna have uh, expectations, but for me, uh, you know, it's just another opportunity uh, to, to be the best player I can be. Uh, obviously, you know, there's, there's a lot of eyes and, and a lot of people, but if I if I just focus on being a good teammate and understanding that, you know, to, to bring my you know expertise and, and, and my skill set to, to this offense, then I think everything will, will, will take care of itself. So, I'm, I'm really more excited to to show you know you know what I can do as a, as a good teammate, um, and then let everything else. Know, can go from there. What's been the biggest transition for you so far and just like between college and now? I know it's early, but what's been different about it for you? Uh, you know, I, I haven't seen nothing yet. Obviously, like this is a professional game, uh, the, the business side of things. Um, but for me, it's it's kind of the same as college. You know, for me as a freshman, I came in, um, had a backpack on, stayed in the dorm. You know, it's all it's all the same thing. Met, met new teammates, met new guys, and like all the guys here are really cool. So, you know, we, we got along super quick and you know, just just laugh and have a good time with each other because obviously, you know, there, there's a lot of guys in different positions. But I, I think that I don't care what position you're in, um, whether you're a high pick or, or whether you're not. I think you, everybody has to prove themselves uh, on on these days, and you know, just be good people. Like, don't don't be a guy that wants to, you know, boast or oh, no, heck no. I mean, I, I, for me, I just look at it as being a, a positive teammate and making sure everybody's getting better. How are you managing the outside expectations, though? I mean, some are already predicting you could be the you know rookie of the year, offensive. You know, I mean, how are you managing that? Yeah, for me, I don't I don't pay attention to it. Um, it's it's really easy for me to to just not pay attention to that stuff. You know, I know that I know that God has a plan for me, and if it's to to do those kind of things, then that's what I'm gonna do. But I do know that I'm gonna work as hard as I can um, to 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 be the best football player, the best teammate I can be, and then obviously get everything down the right way when it comes to the playbook and my assignments and knowing what I'm supposed to do. And then after that, then hopefully, you know, we, those kind of things will be in my life. Bijan, Terry and Robin, the draft, you talk so much about the person that you want to fit, the culture. Where, since you've been here, how are you fitting into the culture of the Atlanta Falcons? Yeah, I mean, just, just being a good person, first of all, uh, being a good teammate, you know, I think that all that ties into to who you are as a football player, obviously. You know, God gave you a talent, like I've been saying, to, to be out here uh, to show what you can do. But I think that you know, if you're a guy that, that does it the right way, um, on and off the field, and you know that, that respects your teammates, and you know doesn't want to come in here, you know, thinking that you're all that just because you know you're a high pick. Uh, for me, I just want to you know learn and get better, um, and then let everything else you know take care of itself. John, how do you feel having contract negotiations out of the way, and that way you can just focus on? Rookie minute camp and what you're doing on the field. Yeah, I mean, it feels good. Um, e even before, you know, if I didn't get it done, you know, I, it's not a thing that that will cloud my mind. Um, I know it'll, it'll get done when it gets done. Obviously, <laughs> it, it was yesterday, but you know, it's a, it's a good feeling just to go out there and and to, to not worry about anything else except you know playing football and, and just doing what you love. And speaking of yesterday, being from Arizona, have you circled Week 12 on the schedule and to have an opportunity to play in front of that home crowd? Yeah, I mean that that would be pretty. I saw that I saw that game, um, just playing over there. You know, all the all the family and everybody from Arizona, you know, watch that game. But you know, I'm excited for to, to play them for sure. Can you talk about how you got number seven? Uh, how did you get it from Ku? And, and do you know what comes with with that number here in Atlanta? Yeah, I mean, so for me, like obviously my faith is so big, so it's it's, it's a biblical number, um, and I think that that's why, you know, I chose that most importantly. Just you know, it's in, it's in the Bible, uh, and then obviously you know. Some great, some legendary players played here with it, and you know when I asked who, 
if I can wear it. Um, you know, he was super cool about it. Uh, and obviously, we want to do some like cool things. You know, obviously with, with the number, uh, me and him, and then you know the coaches uh, asked you know Vic if if I can wear it, and he was super excited about it. Um, but I think it's pretty cool to you know continue on uh, such a great number. I know, I know. <laughs> When I was thinking about the number, I was like, ah, I don't know if I should do it because <laughs> there's some good, good players at work. Um, but I know it means a lot to the program, and, and hopefully I can, I can ride with it and do it and wear it the right way. BJ, Chris Mitchell talked about how um, one thing that he likes about Austin so much is the fact that he's looking at the issues with Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 How do you feel about you know, uh, Coach Mitchell so far, and what are you expecting from him? You know, yeah. a lot of expectations for you. Like, what are your expectations from him as, as a play caller? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, the first practice today, you know, he uses me everywhere um, from from receiver to, to running back and to he exploits my, you know, he, he lets me do uh, my, my abilities and skill set the right way, whether it's catching the ball, running routes, obviously running the football, uh, blocking, do, doing doing it all. And, you know, he told me, you know, you know I mean, I'm, I'm going to coach you hard and, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to expect nothing less because, you know, I need him to – you know, he has a plan for me and, 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 you know, with his coaching style and making sure that I'm doing the right right thing on the field and, and always, you know, pushing myself to, to new limits, new heights. You know, I got I to gotta match that and obviously, you know, come 50-50 come with him and, you know, give, give great effort, uh, you know, be a good leader. Obviously, I'm young, so I'm trying to learn, you know, how to, how to be a leader and how to be a guy that can, you know, do, do things um, well for my teammates. But, you know, he, he going to coach me hard, and I don't expect nothing less because, you know, we're, we're all trying to do something big here. Um, and that, that's, what, that's what's got to happen uh, in order to do that. How important is it for a coach to be so young, let's say, I mean, like, just overall, not just a coach, you know, just overall as a player. Like, how important is it for a coach to be direct? Yeah, yeah I, think it's, I think it's very important, um, you know, because you, you, need, you need that kind of coaching, I think, to, to become a, a great player. And... If, you, if you're a direct coach, you got to be a, a coachable player. You know, you can't be a player that's just can't take it or that's going to pout and get sad. You know, you got to just pick your head up and just say yes, sir, and then just keep on going. Uh, because I think if you're a guy that, that starts getting into to what coaches say and, you know, or if it affects you personally, then then you're, you're showing you're pretty much not a coachable player. But for me, you know, with Coach Smith, Coach Petrie, you know, those dudes are obviously, you know, guys that just want me to get better. Um, and that want me to, you know, go out there and, and succeed, you know, for the whole team. Football again. How do you see yourself fitting into this defense? Um, wherever I'm needed, you know, I definitely feel like, you know, that's that's a, you know, what makes me, you know, the player that I am, you know, is that I'm open to learning and I'm open to, you know, doing whatever for the team. So, you know, I'm definitely open to, you know, doing whatever the coaches need me to do. Coach has said that there's a lot of versatility on both sides of the ball as players being able to do multiple things. Do you see, do you see that as a good thing for you? Is it? Good fit? Yeah, I definitely see that as a good fit, you know, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, the most important thing is being on the field. So, you know, whichever way I can get on the field, you know, I'm open to that. One of the things that, you know, I've been fascinated by as far as, far as, far as how guys have been used in the league now, like, you know, you had the hard-hitting safeties, guys would come in, knock your head off, come across the field. But now it seems like those guys have to be not only, you know, play a box safety, be able to play one high safety or come and play in the slot. What do you feel? Do you feel like your your game kind of matches like the the modern day safety in the NFL? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like my game matches you know whatever's needed. Um, you know, if you need a hard hitting safety that can play in the box, I can do that. Um, if you need a safety over top, I can do that. So, you know, I definitely feel like you know the game is changing. Um, you know, but that's you know where players like me come into play. You know, guys that can do a lot of things. How do you feel um, Nick Saban was? How influential was he, he was with you as far as your development as a player when you got to Alabama? Uh, he was very influential, um, you know, in my development as a player. I mean, I definitely credit Coach Saban a lot for, you know, where I'm at right now. Um, you know, he definitely helped me a lot on the field, you know, helped me grow as a man off the field. Um, you know, he taught me a lot of things, you know, um, as far as, you know, maturity and, you know, being ready for the moment. So, um, you know, Coach Saban definitely is, definitely was, a, you know, a key a key cornerstone in my development. You know, I definitely appreciate everything that, you know, Coach Saban and Alabama did for me. Yeah. And have you ever got a chance to talk to Coach Nielsen yes yet and what his expectations are for you? Oh, uh, you know, not not fully yet. Um, you know, we just just taking some coaching right now. You know, I'm really just more interested in learning the playbook, getting that down pack first before I, you know, I really talk about what I'm needed to do. I was uh, talking to Zach about, you know, have you, he said it's been like a whirlwind since he got down here and happy to be here. He said you had got a chance to find a place to stay. Have you? 
No, yeah. not yet, not yet. No. <laughs> Football is my biggest focus right now. You know, just uh, I want to learn a couple plays first before I figure out where I'm going to live at. Um, I talked to you a little bit about that. I asked you one question uh, after you got drafted, but just learning from Larry Johnson at Ohio State, how much do you feel like that helps you kind of adapt yeah. when you get up to this level? To yeah, you know, um, like I said, the stuff that he teaches works and it's proven. So, you know, just be able to take that and refine it and, you know, bring it to this level, you know, it's something that I hope to do. Is there any kind of, like, fraternity among the Ohio State defensive linemen that have, you know, just because there have been so many, yeah. especially ends, that mm -hmm. have kind of come up to the NFL and been really productive? Yeah, it's really not even just the D-linemen, you know, it's everybody on Ohio State. You know, we got, uh, you know, Liam's here, you know, we just signed Jets, so and those guys both already reached out and we already talked, so, you know, just kind of having guys who, who come from, you know, where I came from and kind of, they're always, the, they're in my corner, they're going to help me out because they're a fellow Buckeye, you know, that's something I appreciate. It was good. It was good. It was definitely, definitely a first day, and uh, definitely some things you got to go coach up and you know learn from and grow from. But you know, I feel like I did a pretty good job. What made you kind of feel like, okay, I'm in, I'm in the NFL now. This isn't just a, another college practice. Um, it really, it was just new. Like it was just new. I didn't like the format of practice is different. I'm not at Ohio. I'm there for four years, so I, you know, I know how practice runs. I know what period one, two, three, four, all the way. I know exactly what they are. I know exactly where to go. And now it's kind of like, okay. <laughs> I gotta kind of relearn all those little things that you know I didn't, that I don't necessarily ha know right now. I know it's only three days, but what do you hope to accomplish by the end of it? What will you be like? Okay, yeah. I feel good now. Yeah, really, I kind of want to get um make sure, make sure like to have the install down just automatic. That's kind of the number one thing. You know, I just want to make sure I keep going hard and make sure you know I got kind of getting that getting that football shape, which is different than you know running gassers and doing things like that. You know, it's just very different. So you know, really just you know making sure I got and got the install down and then um you know uh, football shape. Early impressions of Bijan? Just what have you seen of him? What do you think of him? I mean, that's 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 a question for coach. <laughs> have you seen him out there and playing? I mean, like you're like, oh, okay, I'm glad he's on my team. Like you know, but you're gonna have to face it. No, <laughs> 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 gotta try. <laughs>